You are tuned into Engineering TV, the show that keeps you up to date with what's happening within the world of engineering. A very good afternoon to you and yours. My name is Itumele Nkhosikhadi Yakabanda. This past week, SICE Water Engineering Division held a workshop at the SICE House in Midrand. This specific workshop was on a mission to tackle some of the issues that we face within the country that are based on water and sanitation. They were brought forward by the Infrastructure Report Card. The Infrastructure Report Card of the year 2017 was put together by CSIR as well as SICE. The infrastructure report card is a document that grades various public infrastructure within the country. Our country's overall grading was D+. The workshop consisted of three presentations which were put together by Trevor Balzer, the Deputy Director General of Special Projects for the Department of Water and Sanitation, Kevin Wall, co-author of the Infrastructure Report Card, and Professor Mike Miller. Really just a, uh, a glimpse into the master plan and some of the issues that we want to take to Cabinet to say, to ask Cabinet whether we're on the right track and what we will take into that uh, water and sanitation Pakisa in about August this year, which I hope many of you, when that you get the invite, will, will be clamoring for space. Look, the, the SIC scorecard is a very valuable diagnostic in terms of uh, giving us a reality check as to where we are with infrastructure, particularly with water and sanitation. And many of the issues that have been raised uh, through that scorecard process, we have and are picking them up in terms of the master plan which we're putting in place at the moment. So we certainly hope that uh, with the interventions through the water and sanitation master plan, we'll address many of the deficiencies which would lead to a much better scorecard in future. I do also think that while the scorecard does focus quite a bit on the apex department in the uh, water value chain, uh, that there does need to be a greater amount of dialogue with local government who are at the uh, distribution and the supply end and are at the end where communities are most affected as a result of uh, the poor performance of infrastructure. Uh, so that conversation has to be had with uh, local government in particular. We need to use that as well as the internal mechanisms to say we really aren't doing very well um, and we need to do better. So the, the report card the infrastructure report card is a mechanism to try and keep track of where we are and uh, an important one to try and reflect to politicians who might not want to hear this public, uh, published too loudly that there are areas where things are going wrong. And I think it's been helpful, but we must use it well. It was an interesting uh, event today and I think it was very useful for us to focus on the, on the report card and see just how much discussion that provoked. The, thing, the purpose of the report card is to get people thinking about the issues and what we saw today is by coming, talking about the issues in the report card, it was hard to get rid of the people. They want, they, they're still talking outside. So I think it's been a very successful event and it shows how the report card can really promote discussion and debate both inside SICE and we hope as important outside as well. Not just at one aspect you look at how to turn the whole edifice around. So it's about skills. Yes, it's about systems too. But it's also about data and it's about the whole institution, how to turn that around. The infrastructure report card, which is a report card about the condition of infrastructure in South Africa across all sectors of the public sector, including state-owned companies, and across airports and harbors and water and sanitation, all that kind of stuff, um, has shown a, a, a fluctuation over the years from 2006, 2011 and 2017, the most recent report card, in terms of the type of, uh, the, the level of condition of the infrastructure. In some areas we've seen advance, in other areas we've seen retreat. But I would like to point to a number of things which underlie these conditions. How come the conditions are what they are? Well, the institution responsible, is it actually responsible? Is it focused on service delivery? Because in many cases that's its function, but it gets embroiled in other issues, um, maybe supply chain issues more than uh, audit outcomes as opposed to actual service delivery. 
Um, but what underlies it, it's first of all a harmonious working relationship that all parts of that institution, they work together on service delivery and said infrastructure is an important part of that. But also, have they got the right skills? Have they got the right system? And that's all we had for today. Thank you so much for tuning in to Engineering TV. Do make sure to like and follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. From myself, Itmele Khosikhadiakabanda, until next time.